And so we've got Anthony Ryder from South Lyon, Michigan, recently selected as the Lions 2020 Fan of the Year. He has a passion about sports broadcasting. With the 112th selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC. One cry, baby! What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Detroit Lions video. Now free agency is officially underway and the Detroit Lions, unlike many of the teams around the NFL, are taking a very different approach to free agency. The Detroit Lions, instead of going out and spending big money on big free agents, have decided to stay in-house, signing guys like Charles Harris, Tracy Walker, Alex Anzalone, and the rest of their priority free agents before looking elsewhere around the league. But on Tuesday morning, they did, to, they did decide to make one key addition to the roster in 25-year-old wide receiver DJ Chark. Now, it was discussed that DJ Chark signed for a one-year deal with the Detroit Lions with a fully guaranteed $10 million contract. DJ Chark coming off a really bad injury from a season ago, only playing in three games for the Jacksonville Jaguars, but before he went down, had a was having or was on pace to have a really really productive season with the Jacksonville Jaguars. So today, we are going to take a look at wide receiver one. We're going to take a look at the newest wide receiver to join the Detroit Lions. Look at what he's good at. Look at his pros. Look at what his role will be in the future for the Detroit Lions. And of course, try to project how good this signing is going to be. And just overall, talk about everything you would want to know about this player and about the signing. So with that being said, and without any further ado, let's get right into talking about the Detroit Lions new wide receiver one. Now DJ Chark is, as I said, a 25 year old wide receiver and a fifth year wide receiver from LSU. He was drafted in the 2019 NFL draft and played four years with the Jacksonville Jaguars where he totaled 147 receptions, 2,042 yards, and 15 touchdowns, including a Pro Bowl appearance after the 2019 NFL season. DJ Chark had 1,000 yards in 2019 and won one of the better wide receivers in in the NFL. Now in 2020, his production dipped off just a little bit, still had a really good season around, I think, seven, 800 yards and six to seven touchdowns. Still played really, really well, but with inconsistent quarterback play and even more inconsistent offensive play calling and the Jacksonville Jaguars just not being that good of an offense in 2020, he did not have as successful of a season. And then this year, although he was off to a hot start, having 157 yards in three games, as well as two touchdowns in just three games, which with a rookie quarterback and again a really subpar coaching staff and offensive play caller he did go down with an injury that caused him to miss the remainder of the season now dj shark stands at six foot four 198 pounds and at his combine just a few years ago ran a 434 40 yard dash and had a 40 inch vertical both of those testing numbers were among the best of the wide receiver group in 2019 dj shark is a very very athletic wide receiver who can take the top off of a defense and out jump his guy one on one and dj shark is not just an athletic freak dj shark is a really good technical wide receiver as well which is something the detroit lions very much took into account when deciding who to give a contract to looking at the pros of dj shark there is a lot to like about this football player first off starting he runs good routes he's a pretty good route runner creates really good separation he is you know kind of at that perfect stage of his career to sign somebody where you're far enough in into your NFL career where you know how to do the small things, right? You know how to bait DBs. You know how to use your head and your hips to fake out defensive backs. And you know how to run routes and you know how to do the small things in the NFL, but he's still young enough and youthful enough to retain that 4-3-4 speed and that 40 inch vertical. And for me, this 25 year old signing is really the perfect age that you want to sign a wide receiver because the experience combined with the athletic ability is really where he is right now. And he's going to be at the prime 
prime of his game and he's gonna be at the peak of his game at age 25. So I really like the fact that we went younger. I really like the fact that we went athletic and I really like the fact that we got a really high upside young player that has been around the NFL enough to know what to do in any given situation. He's experienced enough, but not old enough to where he is exiting his physical prime. DJ Chark has really, really good speed to take the top off of a defense. Again, running a 4-3-4 40-yard dash at 6 foot 4, 198 pounds. This dude is an athletic freak and will take the top off your defense before the DB even knows what happened. If he gets behind a defensive back, which again, he's pretty good at doing with his routes, really good at, you know, using his head fakes, really good at faking with his hips and getting behind defensive backs. If he gets a step on you, you are not going to catch DJ Chark. DJ Chark is somebody that will outrun you to the end zone more times than not. And if you don't have a safety over the top, I would expect Jared Goff and DJ Chark to connect a lot down the boundary for big plays for the Detroit Lions in 2022. Now, DJ Chark has never really had the ability to go deep before he's never really had a quarterback with a massive arm right he started his career with Blake Bortles and then with Gardner Minshew and then of course last year with Trevor Lawrence and although Trevor Lawrence does have a really nice deep ball he only really played with Trevor Lawrence the first couple weeks of his NFL career where Trevor Lawrence was still learning he was still trying to identify things and he wasn't really comfortable taking those shots down the field and when he was taking those shots down the field they just weren't connecting he didn't really have that good chemistry yet with his wide receivers it just wasn't a good situation for a wide receiver in Jacksonville in week one, especially when you have to consider that he was splitting targets with Marvin Jones, Jamal Agnew, LaVisca Chenault, and of course, James Robinson, and the remainder of that wide receiver core that they spent a lot of money on last year and as they continue to do so this year. So DJ Chark, while splitting targets, while splitting snaps, still put up over 50 yards a game and averaged nearly one touchdown a game in the Jacksonville system with a turnover prone Trevor Lawrence. Jared Goff, in my opinion, would be the best quarterback he's ever played with, not necessarily talent wise, because I would tell you that, Jer that Jared Goff is not nearly as talented as Trevor Lawrence is, but as far as experience, as far as arm strength and arm talent, as far as, you know, getting the football down the field and leading your wide receiver into the end zone, Jared Goff's better than Minshew, he's better than Bortles. As far as early in his career, he's better at that than Trevor Lawrence. So DJ Chark would be coming into in my opinion, the best situation of his career. He'd be coming into the best quarterback play of his career, the best offensive surrounding talent of his career, and probably and arguably the best coaching staff and offensive play callers of his career. Now, DJ Chark is not just a deep threat. He's not just a guy that gets behind DBs and beats them over the top. He is an extremely physical player as he is a really good contested catch ball wide receiver and welcomes contact both in the air and on the ground. He's a really good yak yardage wide receiver because he is so physical and welcoming of that contact. There was a play versus, I believe it was the Chicago Bears where he got a pass underneath. It was a little drag route dumped down by Gardner Minshew and, you know, with eight yards to go, DJ Chark got the the first down by running through a linebacker, put his body on the line, didn't hesitate, didn't, you know, you know, didn't pull off at all. He went straight through the linebacker, right to the first down, did get tackled, but used that physicality and used his size to his advantage to get that first down. And he uses that size to his advantage in the air as well to out jump and out muscle and out muscle defensive backs to the football more times than not. DJ Chark is extremely physical in the air. He's really good at using his hands. He's really good at just out muscle hustling people to the football, whether it be coming back through the defensive back for the football, going up and just catching the football while he's being hit, while he's being pulled on, while he's being tackled, or again, in that yak yarded situation, just putting his body on the line, putting his head down and going straight through the linebacker, straight through the safety in order to ensure the first down. Now, DJ Chark also has really amazing body control in the air. He is somebody that if you watch his highlights from 2020, even if you watch his highlights from 2021, you see a lot of sideline grabs, you see a lot of catches in the back of the end zone or in the corner of the end zone where it's not an easy catch. It's a contested ball and DJ Chark just goes up, catches the football over the defensive back and with just inches on the sideline, somehow manages to get his feet down. He has a phenomenal body control in the air. Combine that with his really good hands, his strong hands and his contested catch ability and his physicality then you add on top of that his 434 speed meaning he can beat you with speed whether he's behind you or he can beat you just to the football even if you somehow manage to stay with
with him, overall, it's just a really, really good situation to have that kind of wide receiver. Now, DJ Chark likely will not be a top 10 wide receiver in the NFL, right? He's not going to be an elite wide receiver to command elite money next offseason when his contract eventually expires. But what I will say is I wouldn't be surprised if DJ Chark goes over a thousand yards this year. I wouldn't be surprised if DJ Chark starts earning some Pro Bowl buzz by the end of the season because he is all the skills to succeed. And as I said, he is arguably in the best offensive position of his career with the best quarterback play, the best surrounding talent with TJ Hawkinson, DeAndre Swift, and Amon Ross St. Brown across from him. And of course, that offensive line giving Jared Goff ample time to get the ball down the field. And with Jared Goff's arm talent, arm strength, and accuracy, DJ Chark could see a historic season by his standards and could set multiple career highs in receptions, yards, and maybe even touchdowns. Now, I will say the only real negatives about DJ Chark is, of course, the injury concern. He's coming off a pretty bad injury that forced him to miss a majority of the 2021 NFL season. And if DJ Chark can't recover from that, it's going to be money wasted, essentially. But I believe DJ Chark will come back. It's not very often anymore that a wide receiver or that a player in general can't return from injury at a very near level to where they left off the field. Great examples of this being Cam Akers tore his Achilles in in training camp and returned for the Super Bowl just a couple of months later and got, I mean, 20, 30 carries in the playoffs by himself. I mean, carried a big load in the playoffs for the Los Angeles Rams and coming off an Achilles injury that was before, you know, before that was a career ending injury. That was a season ending injury. Right now, you can come back from that in five to six months. So DJ Chark, I think is in good hands. DJ Chark, I think will make a full recovery from his knee and should be able to retain the 4-3-4 speed. And of course, retain the physicality that made him one of the best wide receivers in the NFL back with the Jaguar. So with all that being said, that is all for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think about the signing down in the comments below. Did you like the signing? Did you not like the signing? What do you think DJ Chark and Jared Goff can accomplish this season as a quarterback wide receiver duo? I'd be very curious to you guys think, but with all of that being said, that is all for you guys today. Thank you all so very much for watching, and until next time, and as always, Go Lions!